Howdy, cowboy. Hi. Is this the Fred Mullins double H outfit? What about it? No, I'd like to see Mr. Mullins. Well, you can't, because he ain't here. What do you want of him? I was with a Circle S outfit down in Texas. Lost for a while. Got the urge to drift, and I heard you're the best outfit to hire out to. We're not putting on any hands. I heard you might be putting on some for the roundup. And you heard me, didn't you? Yeah, but you're not Mr. Mullins. Well, I'm Mr. Mullins' boss foreman, and one is all we need around here. All I'm looking for is a cowhand's job. All right, cowboy, keep looking. You're about the most sociable fellow I ever met. your I'd say that's pretty good work, stranger. Yeah, and, and me thinking all the time that there ain't no Santa Claus. Say, we gotta hand it to you, fella. Ain't that right, champ? Sure. Listen, if you was as handy with your mitts as he is with that cap pistol, you should have the title wrapped right up in your pocket now. Did you say champ? Sure, that's me. That's me. Well, that's we ain't me. exactly the world, champ. But that's because that big bazo is afraid to get into the ring with us. Why, Spike here would knock his beezer off. You met the George Spike Sullivan? Why, sure. The lightweight champion of the Navy himself. I thought I recognized you from your picture in the Police Gazette. I'm sure glad to know you, champ. Maybe you think Nifty and me wasn't glad to see you and we did, huh? What's the moniker, kid? The what? The name, the name. Oh. Well, they call me Brick Loring. Hello, yeah, Mr. Loring. I'm glad to know you, me. Why, I am the great Nifty Harmon. Why, I do all the thinking for this guy. Hey, what's that? Ah, oh, Nick's down that pipe down, pipe down. Now, listen, Nifty. Tell him about the time in New Jersey when I took the pride of the fleet. Oh, sure. That was easy. Why, there's a third round. If you had him down hold like on, that, Hold on, hold on a minute. Loring, do you think that you can bring this fellow on into town with you? Sure, I'll follow you in. Not until I take a crack at that Oh, smoke. Nick's on that, Nick's. We're going to leave plenty of cripples behind us after this tour without you pasting that fella. Come on, get in here. Come on. Glad to make you, Brick. Yeah, Laurie, we'll, we'll see you later. Come on, get in there. Listen, you... Listen, oh, every I... time I... Hey, I know, but I was going to... Feller's pretty good. Well, papers may say so, but with me, sin is believing. How is you to look at the camp, boys? Come on! Oh, Well, come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Well, thank you, friends. Thank you. And the camp thanks you, too. 
How do you do? I'm glad to know you, miss. See, he's sort of wearing my boots today. He rounded up this road agent when he was trying to stick up the stage. He says his regular job is cow punching, and he's looking for an outfit to hook up with. I figure he'd be a mighty good hand to have. Well, I'll see you later, Loing. Come on, you. I'll speak to my uncle about you. Thanks just the same, miss, but I've already seen your foreman. And he says he's not putting on any new hands. Oh. Hey, don't worry about me licking him. Why, he's just right for the right fella to come along and knock him loose from his belt. All I'm hoping is that you're the right fella. I'm betting on you, Jock. May I ask how you happen to be in this country? I never was much for staying in one place very long. Always figured it was a good idea for a fellow to keep moving. Seeing different things and meeting new people. And you don't expect to stay here very long? Well, from what I've seen here, I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> but you haven't seen anything. Oh, yes, I have. Uncle Fred! This is Brick Loring. He's the young man that brought that bandit in. Nice work, boy. Yeah. Quite a hero. When do you find time to punch cows? Oh, you know our foreman? About as well as I want to. Yes, Jock, about joining on. And I suppose after I told you I didn't have a job for you, you're trying to talk yourself into one with Miss Mullen. Trying to make yourself out mighty big, ain't you? That's not so. I don't think I'd want a job with your outfit after meeting you, because I don't like you, even a little bit. I ain't asking for your opinion. Well, I'm giving it to you. Well, I don't want it. And if you're smart, you'll keep your gabby mouth shut. Well, if I was you, I wouldn't do so much talking either. Well, you ain't me. Well, I've got that much to be glad of. Why, you... No, well, they'll let it drop. I'll drop him if you... No, let, let it drop, drop again. You think you're that fast for your draw? Why don't... God. I'm sorry about this, Miss Mullen. You're sorry? How about us? There went my saddle. Yes, my whole outfit. Hang on, hang on. Just a minute, boys. I got an idea. Lauren, that job you're asking Malone about... It's yours. Yes, sir. You're working for the double H. Oh, let me have him. But don't you know when you've got enough? That was just a lucky punch. Uh, lucky? <laughs> lucky for us that he handed to you instead of the champ. If you were to land that blow on the champ, he'd wake up here in the birdies. Oh, uh, you ain't going to let him fight, Sullivan. Me? You don't think we're going to take another chance on Jock, do you? You're the only chance we got. Not me. Fight the champ? You must be crazy. Why, we bet our shirts against Sullivan. You're not going to turn your friends down, are you? But I'm no fighter. Well, then I hope I never see one. Cow punching's my business. Son, we ain't going to let you waste that punch on no cow. But I don't want to fight. I don't like to fight, especially a small fellow like the champ. Of course you don't. You're yellow. I'm what? We know you're not. But it might look to some folks, Rick, like you were afraid of Sullivan. But, Mr. Mullins, I'm afraid to you, Brick. Come on, boys. I'm going to set them up. Come on, Brick. You bet. Come on, Brick. I don't understand you, Miss Dean. Well, you can't expect me to feel sorry for you. You're always carrying a chip on your shoulder. So glad somebody made such a good job of knocking it off. Listen, he couldn't do that to me again in a hundred years. Sullivan will kill him. Oh, I'm so glad it isn't going to happen to you, Jock. <laughs> Where'd I see you over the answer house, Spike? Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello, cowboy. <laughs> hey, fella. Wait a minute. I want to talk to you. So you figure that you can beat the champ, huh? Hey, you know as well as I do Sullivan's washed up. The first good guy he runs into will knock him out. You think you're the guy to do it, do you? Yeah. Why don't you make me a bet, then? I lost my dough in a barrel game last week. 
Well, a good smart fella like you could get his gold back if he'd bet on the champ. And uh, the champ would win. I told you I didn't have any dough to bet on myself. Well, you wouldn't expect me to put up the dough for you to do that with, would you? How much dough did you expect to loan me? Tell me what I'll do. Suppose I put up about uh, 400. Uh, well, we'll make it 750 for you on the chance. If he wins, you collect. Of course, if he didn't win, why? Listen, Harmon, you put up that money for me, and I'll guarantee the champ will win. Well, come on, come on. That'll be enough of that. Let's get down the road and do a little work. Come on. Is this my horse? Yeah. Hey, you sure you don't want a buggy to go with that horse? He's your riding for a fellow isn't used to riding in a saddle. Hey, listen here, young fella. I was brought up on a merry-go-round with sweet music on the side. Music, huh? Yes, music. All right, champ. Let's, Let's get go. going. Okay. Something tells me he's going to think a heap more walking when he gets off that merry-go-round. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, Pete. Look at that. If it's good enough for Spike Sullivan, it sure ain't gonna do you no harm. Well, what are we training for, a fight or a foot race? You'd think you was gonna fight on horseback. Brick, you're the most ornery cuss I ever knowed. How do you ever expect to be a fighter if you won't train? I don't want to be a fighter. You fellas got me into this, and I'll see it through for you. I punched your bags and skipped your ropes till you'd think I was training to be a, a toe dancer. But when it comes to wearing out shoe leather to save a saddle, well, I quit. Oh, all right, turn you. Who'd have thought that darn horse was so frisky? Oh. I'll pay you for the shoe leather. Come on, you camel. Hey! You're just the fella I want to see. Well, you sure couldn't have picked a better time. And if you're taking that horse for a walk, how about letting me climb on? <laughs> sure, you can have the plug as far as I'm concerned. I'm through with him. Hey, 
I thought you were out for exercise. This isn't my idea. Oh. I suppose your idea is that you don't need to train to lick the champ. You're good enough to do it anyway, huh? Not exactly, but I'm going to try my best. Boy, you're going to bet on yourself, too, huh? I don't believe much in gambling. Right? You believe in a sure thing, don't you? Well, so do I. And the champ is a sure thing. Why, you haven't got a Chinaman's chance against him. Now, if you were a smart kid, you'd bet some dough on the champ and make yourself some money. What would I use for money? Well, ever since you saved my role for me, that's what I've been wanting to see you about. Now, I ain't the kind of a guy that forgets. No, sir. Not me. You wouldn't mind collecting about uh, $400 if the champ won, would you? What if he don't win? Well, uh, suppose I make that uh, 750 Do you suppose he'd have a better chance of knocking you out, say, in the third round? Give me a lift back to the ranch while I think it over. That's a smart kid. I always knew you were. Sure, come on. Hey. I think you better ride in the saddle. I'll get back here where it's softer, huh? Uh, wait a minute. What? All right. How's he getting along, Pete? Oh, he's doing all right. But you just seen that kid's face when that horse showed him his heel. <laughs> yes, just what the ornery young cuss yeah. needed. Uncle Fred, do you think he has a chance with that fighter? Chance, Miss Jean? Why, that boy's left is dynamite. <laughs> to say nothing of his right. <laughs> hey, Pete. I'm telling you, you were right about it. He can hit like a trip, him. How much did you say you bet on that fight, boss? Why? Because you can kiss your money goodbye in the third round. What are you talking about, John? Would you really like to know, Miss Jean? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop this thing, stop it. Hey, you better walk up there by yourself the rest of the way. Won't look so good if they see me with you. Much obliged to you, you were a big help to me. Well, aren't we going to be a big help to each other? Oh, you mean that bet? Yeah. I've been thinking it over, Nifty. Mm. And just so you won't lose, you can put your money on me instead of the champ. What? You mean that? I mean just what I said. Why, you big sap, you're licked already. Well, if I do lose, it won't be your way. You never heard him say he'd accept the money. He wouldn't do that. You're darn tootin' he wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't wait until he lost my money before I'd admit he was a crook. You can't say that about him. All right. You'll all be saying it when he left Sullivan with him. I heard you've added this to your training. <laughs> Pete's going to make a regular prize fighter out of me if he has to kill me to do it. I wish you weren't going through with it, Brick. I haven't much choice. Oh, yes, you have. Let Jock fight him. And have the boy think I'm yellow? I'd rather have them think anything than what they might think if you should lose. 
What do you mean? Jock said he overheard what that man Nifty said to you about getting money for you on the champ. Oh, Jock said that, huh? You don't think I was serious, do you? No, of course not. But please don't go through with it. Well, that's the one thing now I've got to do. But if you should lose? Don't worry. If that's what they think of me, I'm not going to lose. Well, it won't be my funeral when he lays down to Sullivan. If you boys want to collect those bets of yours, let me fight him. It don't sound like Brick. We haven't heard his side of it. All right. If you fellas want to believe what he tells you, but don't say afterwards, I didn't tell you so. Your hair's pretty good, isn't it, Jock? Yeah, it is. Well, you listen to this. It doesn't matter much to me what you think. But you men can't believe what he wants you to. Sure, I was out there with Nifty Harmon. He came along after you ran away with my horse, Pete. <laughs> and I stalled him about his proposition so he'd give me a ride back at the ranch. I didn't tell him glad that we got here that he could do his betting on me. Well, I believe you, kid. Well, that's easier for you to say than it is for me to believe. I wouldn't trust you against Sullivan. You're spoiling for a fight, aren't you, Jock? Well, you've got one coming, see? But it's not going to be with Spike Sullivan because I'm fighting him. And I'll whip the first man that says I'm not. All right, kid, all right. We know you're kind of handy with your fists when you want to be. But we're pretty handy with... with this. And that's why you better be sure you don't lose. Is that the way you feel about it, Mr. Mullen? That's the way we feel about it, kid. Why don't you get yourself married? Well, I think... Oh. Not standing sheriff like Jim Castro in this college to put a stop to what's going on. Christ, Christ. How do you do, boy? How do you do? How, how, how are you? My, my, but you look gorgeous. Nifty, the name Nifty Harmon. How do you do? I don't care to know you, Mr. Ah, uh, Mr. Harmon. Yeah, I wouldn't trust you. I wouldn't trust you. I want you every minute. I know what you're going to do. You're going to hold that fight in secret. And there's nothing going on that I don't find out about it. You just try it. You just try it. Huh. enough of that now, Brick. Better take a little rest for a couple of hours. Well, gee, I gotta do something to keep busy, Pete. Hey, you're as nervous as a fool prima donna, ain't you? Cut it out. Come on with me while I get some chow. And a cup of coffee would be good for your nerves, too. I've got a surprise for you. Well, what is it? Well, where did you get them things, Miss Jean? I made them. You made them, Jean? Yes, Uncle. I saw the picture in the police gazette. Thanks. This is just what I need. Good luck, Brick. You'll excuse us, won't you, Miss Jean, but can't let the next champ catch cold, you know. Here you are, Brick, there. You can come with us if you want to, but I got to keep him moving, you know. Still going to let him fight, huh? I'm going to make him fight. Everything ready in the barn? The boys are putting the ropes up now. Plenty of time. Over and down, Blackie. I want to talk to Hank. Hey, on, Joe. Hank, 
you're a friend of mine, ain't you? You bet your life. Where is this fight going to be? Didn't know there was going to be a fight since you called it off, Joe. Oh, I'm only a servant of the law. He's 50. I knew I wouldn't tell you, Joe. Oh, Hank, you got me wrong. I want you to bet this for me on the fight. Well, you know, it looks pretty good to me, too. Sure does. Now, unofficially, man's man. Where's it going to be? You're a pretty good fellow after all, ain't you, huh? Sure, I Okay, where are they going to hold it? Hey, Doc, what are you doing here? Well, you won't need you, you'll need an undertaker. Say, you better come here and sit down. If you don't, I'll knock you down. Oh, yeah, you'll find out who the best fighter is. Where's that fighter? I'll knock you down. Hey, that kid will need that. Better than an undertaker. Say, if you think that champ can lick that kid, put up your coin. I'll bet you $50. I'm seeing that 50 and raising you 50 more. I'll raise you 50. I'm looking at that 50 and raising you 50 more. I got your bet. How do you feel, Sam? How do you feel? I'm a told. That's the boy, that's the boy. But get the idea that this cowboy's any setup. They tell me he's dynamite. Ah, uh, yeah, just watch me blow him up. That's what I'm going to do. Watch. Well, is the other guy in the ring yet? Not yet. No, well, let him wait. Put the champ around here anyway. Come on, beat it. Tell me when he's in there. Watch his step down. Keep that left right up into his face, you understand? Don't worry. When I hit him, they stay hit. What did I tell you last night, Jean? I don't care. Now listen, Jean. I'm come going Oh, to well, come on, come on. Hurry up. Take it easy there when you get in there now. 
What's that left? Keep it right there. Keep it right there. body, will you? Right. Don't get nervous and use that left hand. When he gets in close, work on his stomach. You hear me? Force him all the time. And... Come on, 
I'll teach her all right. Give him that bottle. If you send that boy into the ring again, you'll regret it, sir. Can I throw it in? He's only putting it on. Can I throw it in? I Get out of here, Jack. Come on, get out of here. Got a boy? Come on, bet your life you're going to see it through. Don't you mind, kid? Don't leave the opening again. Take it cool. You're all right, kid. Now, kid, go on. Get in there. Go on, kid. 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 Cancel all debts. That wasn't a fight, it was a frame up. Sure, it was. Sure, it was. Why are you lying, you bunch of stupid? I certainly did get sore because they bet on the wrong side. You are. He ain't looking for no alibi. But you wouldn't believe it anyhow if I told you he had cramps when he got it. I had cramps for 750 bucks. Look out, what you say with me, sir? How about it, Doc? Well, we'll take him into the harness room. I'll examine them there. Oh, you're too soft, Joe. We know what we're doing. Well, it's up to the Doc now. If he finds Loring hurt as I think he is, all bets are going to be paid. Gambling debts are legal in this state, but prize fighting ain't. You and Loring both are under arrest. Thanks. How about those stakes you're holding? Well, Where got, are they? Got most of them locked in the safe uptown. Except the bet that Nifty Harmon covered. Got them here with me, Jerry. Well, I'll take those. Just a moment, please. That hurts there, Doc. Don't come up slowly. 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 I can't stand that. You, Spike, go get your clothes on. Huh? Uh, wait a minute. I thought so. It's pretty bad, eh, Doc? Well, I guess I was just too tough for you. Oh, is that so? The kid ain't well or you wouldn't last it two rounds. Get in your clothes, uh, Oh, all right, all right. What are you, the nerve of these guys thinking I had to turn crooked to beat an amateur like him? Yeah? You and that manager didn't feel that way about it. But he offered me 750 to lay down on you. Why, you just bug him out. Ah, that ain't on the level. That ain't on the level. I'll see you when you get your clothes changed. Wait a minute. That's why I turned you down, isn't it, Nifty? Because it wasn't on the level. Oh, I was just kidding you. I was just kidding you. Hey, what no, do you I'm mean you were kidding? Well, listen. What, what do you mean, mean you were kidding? Well, let me tell it. It was like this. I started. Go on, tell me. I like what I'm trying to tell you. Go on, tell me. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, you stood it then, huh? You thought you had to turn crooked to make me win, did you? Why, you big bum? There, Stop it! Let me take one little crack at that photo, and I'm going to jail for life! Stop it! How about him, Doc? Why, the boy is badly hurt. He wasn't faking. That's enough for me. I never had any doubt about you, Loring. Not your fault. Sullivan's a better man than you. Well, then how about paying those bets? They're legal, ain't they? Sure. Yeah, thanks. How about my split? Oh, all right, all right. But you'll be sorry about this when it's all over, Champ. But I ain't the guy that holds a grudge. No, sir, not me. There you are. 
You'd better get out of here before I lose my temper. Don't go that way. That mob's ugly. You better go out through the window. And when you get going, keep going. Yeah, fire, yeah. fire. How about it, Jack? This fight was on the square, and all bets stand. We won't stand with it, Joe. Oh, we don't think it's a bet. Wait a minute, wait. You weren't going to leave without talking to me first, were you? Well, what have I got to talk to you about? Well, just give me the money you promised me if the champ won. I won it for him. Oh, well, now listen, listen here, Jock. We won't pay for the Doc, those punches in the stomach couldn't make me feel like this. I felt sort of weak and, and had cramps before I got in the ring. Well, I wasn't in no fight and my stomach is burning up. Well, what did you eat before the fight? Just coffee. Coffee? Why, coffee never gives a man cramps. Unless uh... I'll pick something up that I think will relieve you both. Yeah, it was funny, kid. You was going great. Then the second time round, you seemed to lose all your steam. One punch is a breadbasket champ, and I just welded. Yeah, I noticed when I sunk that left. Why, I knew I had you. I knew I had you, kid. No, I want you to think this. Enough water. Just let me stir it up. Now drink it. Yes, I can keep quiet. These men are my prisoners, and nobody is going to lay a hand on them. I don't want that rumpus out there, boys. You fellas get out of here before something happens. Me and the doc will take care of that coffee business. Come on, get out of here in a hurry now. Don't stall around. Well, uh, well now listen, Chuck. Say, I don't fall for that. I want the dough. Oh, don't make me laugh. Give it to me. Sir, get your hands off of me, you chump cowboy. Oh. What happened to you? He, he's got the roll.
Shut up, man. again if you got that mad. If you couldn't stay three rounds with your pal Sullivan, but you could make a good job of it licking Jock. That's what Too bad for him. Right. Too bad he didn't bribe you too. That's a lie. Nobody bribed him. Listen, you, me and the kid are square shooters. Uh, here's a six shooter. Says you're a couple of crooks. You're and out of this country, we don't handle your kind with gloves. There's a tar and feather party waiting you two. Take them, boys. Huh. Get Come on, boy. Get him. Come on, Jim. Give him a talk. What's the matter with you? Get him. Come on, Jim. Give him a talk. What's the matter with you? Come on, can't you get him? Hey, that's enough of that, man. Stop it. Stop it. You fellas can't take the law in your own hands till you can't get away with what you did back there in the barn. Somebody's going to pay for it. Pay where you are, Chuck, or I'll drop you. Take that coffee. I'll drink it. Drink it! What's the matter? You afraid of getting cramps? What are you fellas driving at? I'm going to prove what I said in the first place. That the kid is a great fighter. Jack poisoned that coffee. Now you know why he couldn't take them punches in the bread basket. You can lock him up for robbery, Sheriff. That's the role he took from the yap that was me manager before I fired him. Listen, you's is gonna like being in jail with me because I'm gonna rock you to sleep every night. Stop it, stop it. Fred, you're right about one thing. There's no contest and all bets are off. Well, what about arrest in Brick and Sullivan? What do arrest him for? There's no contest. There couldn't have been any fight. Sheriff, of all the cops I ever met, you is the first one I can take a liking to. Come on, you. Rick, I've been pretty much of a cuss, but I'd like to make it up to you if you let me. Forget it, Mr. Mullen. Fred to you, Rick. Then we're all friends. That's great. Well, Spike, I'd like for you to meet Miss Mullen. How do you do? Pleased to know you, Miss Mullins. So you're the kid's girl. Well, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Well, I hadn't thought about it. Stop your kidding. Stop your kidding. <laughs> Miss Mullins is my boss. So is me missus. But being a family man is great training for the fight game. I've had all I wanted the ring. Wait till you just put one on a finger. You will be in training for the rest of your life. What do you say, Uncle? All we got to do to keep the kid in good condition is for you to give him your okay. What do you spread? Hey, hey, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.